Hi there, this is Lawrence with Excello, and in this video we're going to discuss retainer settings. So as I've mentioned before, retainers are one of the things that Excello really does well compared to other programs. So in order to make sure that your retainers are doing what they're supposed to do and that the terminology being used on that retainers module, it lines up with that of your company or your team, you want to make sure that your retainer settings are all aligned to what you need. So to actually update those retainer settings, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over the configuration gear at the bottom left hand corner. And on this screen here, we're just going to go down to the retainers tab and then click on settings. So now you'll have a couple of options here that we can actually mess with. So first off, we can show the ID with the title. So in this case, we can choose yes or no if we want to show the retainer ID with a particular title. We can also choose whether or not we want to call it retainer and retainers. So we can change the singular and plural labels here. So for example, if our team calls retainers contracts, we can just change this to contract and contracts. And that would be reflected throughout the retainers module. And if we changed it to contract, it would be called the contracts module. We can also change the manager label. So if we actually go to a retainer and take a look at what that is, let's just go to this example retainer here. You'll notice this manager to bill to. This is the label that would change if we actually went there. So let's just go back to our retainer settings. The next thing, we can actually choose the next retainer ID if we'd like. This can be manually input. Next is the retainer periods piece. So there's really not that much that we can change here. We can change the actual label. So if we call it something other than periods, we can change the singular label and the plural label. And then the forms API access, we can choose to challenge, which would require valid submissions to create retainers with the forms API to pass a CAPTCHA challenge. Open means it does not need a CAPTCHA challenge. And disabled, which is the default, means do not allow for any submissions to the forms API to create retainers. If we choose to challenge, then we can select our recapture secret key here. So once you have everything looking the way you want, just simply hit save, and then it will be reflected in your retainers module. So hopefully that helps, and if you have any further questions, be sure to email us at support.excello.com.